FNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. We have a bifurcated market today. There's a little bit of red, a little bit of green. The green, of course, is coming at the hands of the Dow Jones, the Russell, the S&P, and the NASDAQ all up and relatively well. As a matter of fact, uh, we are believing that this is some type of a tradable top up in here, possibly the top for the year, but it's still a little bit early to tell. Uh, we have a big lunar effect here today with the full, uh, new moon starting today on the 17th of July. Uh, we have the grain markets are strong again. The weather gets hotter and hotter. Uh, unfortunately, it's not as hot as it is in the or fortunately, it's not as hot as it is in the northwest, southwest where where I live down here, where we hit a record of 117 up in Phoenix yesterday. That is the 17th day in a row of temperatures above 110. Uh, that has never happened before since they've been keeping records. So it is very hot, but we're due for the monsoons to start. They're five weeks late right now. That's another record. They've never been that late here in Tucson. Usually it starts on the 15th of June, and by then we got seven, eight inches of rain coming into the 15th of July, but we haven't got one drop. So uh, the soybean crop here, that's a joke, folks. We don't have a soybean crop here. They do have corn here. Corn happens to be a pretty good uh, uh, area for the farmer's market stuff because it's expensive, folks. Can you believe they get 75 cents for an ear of corn? Folks, when you're in Indiana, you don't even pay for an ear of corn. The first six rows of the corn crop belongs to the, uh, the public. I was always told that. I know that's a joke, but that's not that's how it's going. But the, the crop is doing okay. Uh, we, do, we had wheat up sharply higher uh, earlier today, and it's backed off quite a bit. But all the others uh, are still up. We got the soybeans up, we got soybean oil up, and we got uh, the corn up. But uh, they're, they're also looking at the weather. But that's all through the Midwest, which isn't nearly as bad as what we're seeing in the east with that terrible rain that they're having and all the flooding and then the incredible heat on the west coast. Believe it or not, folks, Portland and Seattle hit over 100 degrees uh, this weekend, and believe me, there that is really, really hot up there because they're right off the ocean, and that should be a balmy breeze, and it certainly isn't happening that way. So, got a lot of stuff to talk about on the show today. So, let's get with it. As soon as we come back, by the way, our guest will be Stan Harley today of the Harley Stock Market Letter. We'll be right back, folks. 